it going guys? Sharblux here. Today's the 31st of October, so that means it's Halloween. Happy Halloween to all of you guys. Personally, I always love this time of year. October and November always have really cool events happening, for me anyway. I'm sure a lot of you watching the video also love this time of year. Well, I guess for us Roblox players, this year was a little bit of a disaster. I actually planned to make two Roblox Halloween themed videos. I was going to upload them for you guys, and I couldn't upload or finish them because as we know, the website is still down. Coming up on three days being down. I know, I can't quite believe it. This year, I guess we got a trick for Halloween. Honestly, it's crazy. So I was thinking, what should I upload today? I wanted to upload something cool, but since Roblox died this Halloween, it's kind of difficult. I had a really cool avatar tricks video, and I don't think I'm going to be able to release it. I'm kind of sad about that. I did notice a Roblox trend over the past few days, where people clickbait their subscribers into them playing Roblox offline. So in these videos, they're basically saying they're playing Roblox, it's working for them, or it's offline mode. But it turns out these videos are fake, and it's just old footage from last week. So yep, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to actually play Roblox offline. No scam, no troll, or anything clickbait. This tutorial is going to be 100% real. All you PC players can follow this. Sorry, this doesn't work on Roblox Mobile, because you do need Roblox Studio. However, it's like playing Roblox in 2006. If you like the old Roblox, then fair enough, you might think this is pretty cool, but it does contain a few bugs as well, and you're also very limited to what games you can play. To be fair, I have already done a video on this before. I'm pretty sure I uploaded it this time last year, which is kind of mad, but there you go. This video is definitely an improvement since my last video, but it's still not brilliant. So yeah, that was my last video, 8th of November 2020, literally a whole year ago. Roblox offline mode, playing Roblox without internet connection. Now for this one, I believed you did actually need an internet connection to get it started, but you basically enabled your internet, opened a saved game in Roblox Studio, and you were basically like able to play it and all of that kind of stuff. You could test the game, you could move your character around. Yeah, like I said, it wasn't really that good. As you can see for me, my character didn't really load in properly. It was like a floating head. Yeah, it was a bit of a disaster. To be fair, the one I'm going to show you guys today is a lot better. Now, over on Twitter, I just want to give a very big shout out to JMK Dev. I was trying to get this working, but I just couldn't do it. But JMK over here was able to provide us with a GitHub link, which has an old Roblox Studio, which works offline. This is perfect. I was looking for something like this for such a long time. So yeah, big shout out to JMK Dev. Go and follow him over on Twitter if you're not following him already. And all you guys want to do is just click on this link. I will link it in the description anyway. And as you can see, he's playing Roblox in Roblox Studio, offline by the way. I will leave a link to this in the description, but you guys can also go to the tweet if you want to find it. This is what the GitHub looks like, so it's called a patch for Windows 7. I know it might look a little bit confusing, but all you guys want to do is click on the future is bright version 2 zip file, and what this is going to do is start downloading the zip file. It's only 100 megabytes, so it's a pretty small file. Just wait for it to download. Depending on your internet speed, it should only take a few seconds, around about a minute. And the second file we need to download is the Roblox games. This one was provided by me. If you have backups of other Roblox games, these ones should work as well. Just keep in mind that this is an old version of Roblox Studio, so classic games work a lot better. But all you guys want to do is click on Roblox Classic Games. It's a zip file, and you just want to click on the grey download button. And as you can see, we now have both files. And here I am guys in my computer's downloads folder. All you want to do is select future is bright, right click it, and just click extract to future is bright. This is going to put it into a file folder for you. Then all you want to do is drag and drop Roblox Classic Games inside of this folder, then double click to go into the folder, find Roblox Classic Games, right click and just select extract here. If you guys would like to create a games folder, you can go ahead and do that. You don't need to though, I'm just going to delete the zip file. My internet is currently connected so I will probably get the Roblox error when I try and boot it up but let me show you guys how it works anyway go into the folder called future is bright version 2 scroll all the way down and we are looking for the exe file you should be able to notice it because it has the blue Roblox studio icon and you guys want to go ahead and just double click on this and there you go old Roblox studio is loading up like I said guys you might still get this screen Roblox is still down at the time of making this video it's probably still down by the time I upload this as well don't worry about this. All you guys want to do is just click on file, then click on open, then go into the future is bright folder and select whatever game you want. Since it's Halloween, we are going to choose the haunted mansion.
extension. So go ahead and click on open. And yo, let's go. You are now inside of the old Roblox studio. If you guys want to build stuff with bricks, I mean, yeah, you can go ahead and do that. That might be pretty cool. Maybe you can learn something as well. That'd be nice. But if you guys would like to play these classic games, all you want to do is go up to test at the top. Go ahead and just click on play. Now just wait around 30 seconds. It seems to be a little bit slow. Even if the game loads, you still want to wait another like 10 seconds. And then your Roblox character should load in just like this. And as you can see, I'm online as player one. So yep, a very, very basic Roblox account. Like I said, Roblox is down, so we can't use our normal accounts. And I can now play the game. And I wasn't lying, guys, when I said this was just like Roblox in 2006. I think all of the gears and stuff are broken because the meshes are saved on the Roblox website. Actually, to be fair, the ones that have like special effects still work, which is honestly pretty cool. Look at this one. I can shoot out some skeleton heads or something. No way my rocket launcher still works. That's crazy. You can still blow up bricks and stuff. So yeah, it's pretty cool. If you guys want to make something crazy and then go and blow it up, that might be quite fun. Let's try and make an explosion. There you go. That ball is going to explode as well. Oh my gosh, my character's arm's gone. Are you guys ready to see the coolest Roblox physics ever? Take a look at this. Ready? Oh my gosh, what the heck? I expected these bricks to fly everywhere. That didn't really work. Let me try again. Oh, there you go. That was pretty cool, I guess. So yeah, if you guys want to make something, then go and blow it up. Honestly, you can try that if you want to. Sometimes it's kind of funny. If you are a massive Roblox fan, you might enjoy this. Since it's Halloween, guys, let me show you a secret in the basement of this house. Maybe some of you guys don't know about this, but if you walk inside of the house, you walk past the fridge, you walk past the stairs. If you come into this yellow room and then go into the red room, if you jump all the way down the stairs, there is actually a secret which is hideout. So you see this wall right here? Well, it's actually an invisible wall. Well, you can walk through it, whatever that's called. And as you can see, we're now in the witch's kind of like headquarters, which is hideout, whatever it's called. And if you jump in the cauldron, your avatar will have a big head. So yeah, there you go. It's pretty sick. Actually, this game might be quite a good way to troll your friends. Be like, oh my god, I'm playing Roblox. Look how cool this is. But yeah, it's just Roblox offline mode. Of course, if you guys want to change games, you can just go ahead and stop it. If you go to the top and just go on file and then go on open, you can choose something else. Crossroads, dodge the teapots, domino rally. That one's quite fun to mess about in. Happy home in Robloxia, haunted mansion, pinball wizards. Pinball might be kind of fun. I guess we can open that and see what happens. Yeah, what is this? I think I've played it before. Is it like a fully working pinball machine? To be honest, guys, I'm not too sure. I don't know how to get this thing working. Wow, Roblox offline mode is basically like Roblox 2006 simulator. This is pretty much exactly what Roblox is like in 2006. Maybe with better physics, although I'm not too sure. But yeah, if you guys want to play this for yourself, then go for it. Don't forget, you can still use the Roblox options menu as well. So you've got players, settings. I'm pretty sure you can report yourself if you want to. Oh, you can report the game. There you go. Wait, you can still record stuff? Okay, that's pretty cool. But yeah, settings is probably the most interesting. Oh, I forgot to say there's a full screen mode if you guys want to use that. Graphics, you can change that to pretty good. There you go. I should have done that to start off with. Oh, well. And yeah, a ton of other Roblox options as well. You guys know what the Roblox options looks like anyway. I guess there is a chance that some of the newer Roblox Studio archives might work. But to be honest, I'm not too sure. I did try the Halloween one from 2017. So this one, which is just here. 27th of October, 2017. Halloween release. I tried this one. I downloaded it and I just couldn't get it working. So keep in mind, some of them might not work, but the older ones probably will. What is going on? Why did I just get a ball stuck to my character's arm? Yeah, I think I just glitched this game. That's kind of funny. Oh, there you go. I can move it off. So yeah, I guess that is pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys how to play Roblox offline. And yes, this method does also work if you have no internet connection whatsoever. As you guys can see, I will put these screenshots on the screen right now. So yep, if you guys enjoyed this video, as always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.